So I asked my aunt recently, who was the, uh, what the hell is it called? Executive, executor of my grandfather's will. My grandfather used to tell me every holiday, hey kid, put some money in a bank account for you. Hey kid, put some money in a bank account for you. Always told me that he was putting money in a bank account for me. Every holiday, since I was little. Since I was mad little. My grandfather died, I never got shit. Never got shit. Nothing. And when I finally got to his house, his tool shop, which was his most, you know, dear to him, shit, was fucking ransacked. So, I wasn't even thought about in that. Maybe I was. Maybe it was more like a fuck you. But, you know, what happened to that money? My grandfather got two and a half million dollars when I was a baby because of my grandmother dying. The paramedic was drunk that showed up to the house. So, that's how my grandmother went out and my grandfather ended up suing the city. I don't care about the money, but my grandfather told me. So, what the fuck happened? Nobody knows nothing. Nobody's ever responded to me about this. I've said this to my father a bunch of times, and he's always like, hey, oh, oh, he ain't. Look, this has been going on since I was born. This has been going on since I was a baby, okay? This isn't just new ass people that I'm meeting that don't like the fucking energy that I carry. The fact that I will call people out on their bullshit, okay? And I will. That's one of the biggest reasons why my ex fucking moved against me is because I called her out on her bullshit. That's what I'm doing. Calling everybody out on their bullshit. You guys can be mad all you fucking want. Where's my shit? Where's my kids? Where's my inheritance? Okay? There's a reason why. There's a reason why behind all this. This isn't just within the last few years. This is a fucking lifetime. My grandmother had seven brothers. She was the only sister out of seven brothers. I was the first grandbaby. I'm the oldest. Some people are salty about that. Some people are salty about my position in life. Some people are salty about my blessings. I don't give a fuck. Okay? And I'm really, honestly, as much as it sucks to be away from my kids and the things that I went through with my kids and being separated from them, I'm glad I went through this. I'm glad I went through this. Oh, I'm glad I went through this. You have no idea. Because it put everything into perspective about fucking who's who. And that's why that nice shit's over with. Is because I know most of these motherfuckers that I was surrounded with are fucking snakes in the grass. And that's it. And this goes for family. Majorly for family. This goes for all these fucking frenemies in the background. But here's the deal, right? None of you fuckers would say it to my face. Nobody said it to my face. So thanks for showing me utmost respect. And letting me know. Because as I went through this shit in my head over and over again. That's a big one. None of you fuckers came and said this shit to my face. Nobody did. You were either one, afraid of my reaction, two, afraid of the outcome, or three, just a bitch and fucking a snake. And that's it. So, I'm, I'm done playing humble. I'm still humble. And I still got mad love for people. But the people that I do love, and I still love you guys, but the fucked up shit that's going on, unacceptable. No fucking way. And then people try and deem me as the bad one and fucking give me a bad rap and fucking run my name through the mud. I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so. You motherfuckers have not walked where I've walked. You haven't fucking had to go through the shit that I've gone through. And you sure as shit don't have the backing like I do with God in my life. And I'm going to say it like that. And the more that I've gone through this shit, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Everything's going to be exposed. The people involved, 
the people, the family, friends, fucking enemies, the people that played behind this shit, you will be exposed. I, there's no fucking doubt in my mind. I'm not even sweating that shit. Not at all. Okay? It's only a matter of time. And everything will play itself out. And the pit that they dug for me is what you guys are going to fall into. So if you're one of my haters and you decided to move behind my back and talk fucking shit, if you fucking put your mouth on me, you got it coming. And not by my hands. I don't even have to do nothing. I don't have to do shit. I know that. This is this is the reality of this whole thing. Is this is spiritual warfare. We, for we battle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? And everybody thought that they were above me in status with your fucking shit and your toys and the things you got in life and the money you fucking carry. But you know what? Here's the thing. Most of you motherfuckers could never ever even fucking stick a toe in my fucking sneakers and walk the walk that I've walked. So, you know what? Here it goes. Here I go. Everybody's getting called the fuck out. Everybody's getting called the fuck out. And as this continues to go, it's snowball and like, I'm, I'm building momentum like a motherfucker. And there's nothing you guys can do to stop this. You can try. You can plan. You can fucking do all you fucking can dream up in your fucking head. But God's got my back. You see through my children, okay? That's what I got from God. And he told me that when I was little, when I was crying in my window, going through fucking crazy shit with my mother while she was acting fucking nuts, that I was going to have a big family. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I was saying this after I had my first set of twins. So here, here I am. So, but the evil in the world tried to fucking move against me. And it's not just my ex. It's, that's fucking bullshit. There are many different people that have fucking aligned themselves to fucking come against me and mine. And you guys are going to pay out the ass. And you brought fucking curses on your family and yourself. And it's only a matter of time. It's God's timing. It's not my timing. I'm not rolling up doing fucking shit. Watch. See how it all plays out. You guys thought you were slick. You thought nobody was watching. God's watching. Are you, are you fucking high? You guys really acted like you were alone in rooms and having conversations, talking shit about me and my demise and trying to fuck with my life. And you thought nothing was going to come back? We'll see. I know. You didn't walk through this shit. I did. And I thought, I, the more I went through this shit, the more I'm I'm just so fucking confident in my faith and in God being there for me. You guys are fucking evil. You do some fucked up shit. Dirty, grimy, self-righteous, fucking people-pleasing, fucking chasing money. This is where your soul is. The money is most of your guy. Most of you. It's God to most of you guys. And if not, then it's status or material possessions. And I'm going to tell you guys, just like I told my ex, and she fucking flipped when I said this shit. I'll throw it all in a fucking pile, put a match to it, and go fucking get it again. That used to piss her off. I'm fucking pretty much there already. I just don't have my kids. Yet. Yet. So... Read them and fucking weep. Everybody's getting put on blast. Anybody that moved against me, anybody that fucked with me in my lifetime, we're going to fucking sit up there and we're going to talk about this shit. Because you guys did me dirty. And rather than go and fucking fall in the trap and go and get myself locked up again, I'm like, I'll get this one. I'm chilling.